Hey everyone, it is Ruben here and we're with team skier Lucas Cornell out at Davies Lake. Um, today it is an absolute perler of a day and we're gonna sit down, have a bit of a chat and um, see how Lucas is going up leading up to Moomba. Alrighty Lucas, so 2024 Moomba, this is your last year in junior Moomba. Yep. How are we looking for it? So we've had a few comps this season, Aussie Kiwi just recently. How'd you go? Yeah, Aussie Kiwi was really good. Had an un unreal time there. Yeah. Uh, skied really well and uh, off the water, on the water, both really good times. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So what was it like kind of going over there as a team rather than like kind of a individual type sport? Like when you go to other comps, it's like just about you, whereas Aussie Kiwi obviously representing Australia. Yeah. Comes out. Yep. Uh, oh, we went there a couple of days earlier, so um, had a bit of pre pre for mil for mills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get, uh, yeah um, get suited to the conditions over there. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, you know, New Zealand weather was different to different out here. Definitely yeah, didn't exactly. get this water, unfortunately. Yeah, it's absolutely but, glass today. But um, yeah, no, it was really good. Um, but yeah, like Aussie Kiwi tournaments, having a team, you know, you're so much more supportive of everyone. Everyone mm. backs you. You know, yeah, um, there's definitely a lot more hype when you ski good and cheering on for other people. Um, mm. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a really good tournament. Yeah, nice. And I heard that your ski snapped halfway through and you had to jump on someone else's ski. And what did you run? <laughs> what did you run on a, on just a, it was obviously still a DV8, but yeah. not tuned for yourself. What did you get into? Yeah, I was, it was half all right, you know, like it was this, still the DV8 feels, but yeah, definitely not dialed in yep. to how I'd like. But um, yeah, it was a two and a half at 10.7 still. Yeah, but, nice. um But you know, still half out of whack, still happy with it. Though. Still happy with yeah. it. It's pretty not bad to jump on a other person's ski and run into 10.2. Yeah. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty decent. So we're running 10.7s consistently obvious on the dv8 and we've you've just switched to the c1 yeah how are you liking it yeah uh, we're tuning that in um still at the moment still tweaking it around a fair bit yep. um but yeah jumped on that felt great and then just you know the the progress the process i mean it yep. was just you know fin settings you know tweaking the bindings yep you know set changing this trying that you know it's it's still in the in the works of that but it works yeah yeah we're definitely getting something good going on yeah nice what's the main differences first of all that you're noticing first up on the D, on the c1 compared to the dv8 uh, i think the main difference is you know obviously being the wider uh, front of it mm -hmm. uh you come into the turn it's uh a little it, bit more stable with that wider yeah full body in, in the front of the ski coming like pre-turn yeah it. yeah like you can press a bit like firmer on the front of it yeah and then as you come around it's still just super solid in the water yep. and the tail's sitting down so you're not at risk of blowing the tail as much as uh, on the dv8 yeah nice. which was a bit of a bad habit for myself yeah that's like joel obviously put up his video of what happened so they changed the bevels going towards the back of the tail so is that kind of you're feeling that out of the back of the turn yeah a lot more secure coming out of the back of the turn yeah definitely like you you hold your angle of the ski a lot better. Yep. Like you, it's harder to create space, but it's so much easier to get a tighter turn yeah, at okay. the end of the turn. That's exactly what you want, especially for chasing 10-2. And yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be big scores, hopefully for Moomba. So we're going hopefully. for another course record. I'd love that, another yeah. Another one. Um, so last year in 2023, Lucas uh, broke the course record for the Yarraford Junior Moomba Boy Slalom. What was it? Three at eleven. Well, that was it. Was five at eleven. Five at eleven. And then I was the first person to run eleven on the Yarra. Yeah. And then two skiers later, someone else goes out and beats it. Yeah. So I had the <laughs> record for like fifteen minutes, maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. you got that first, so I'm fairly sure if you go into the records, you'll see Lucas because you got it first. So yeah, I'm fairly sure that's how it works. So um, we're going to be looking at Junior Moomba, but then backing it up again for Senior Moomba. So. Yeah. How are we preparing? How's the prep going for, for Moomba? Are we tra changing anything in terms of preparation, shorter set time, uh, shorter rest between sets, yeah. rollies, that type of stuff? Yeah, definitely. Um, sort of, it's a, bit, it's a mix of, you know, you're still trying to figure out how the ski's working and getting that in tune and, and you know, the shorter drop times, bumpier water, 
Yeah. You know, and sort of just more, more um, bulk of the the longer passes. Yeah. Or longer lines, I mean. Yep. But yeah, like you're still trying to go short line and see how it goes down there. Yeah. 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 Nice. So you got into the finals last year in men, so hoping another Moomba Monday. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. And then. So you've been skiing in the 10.7 pretty regularly. Um, who's kind of the main competition um, coming in for Junior Moomba? The Junior Moomba? Oh, it's, it's, um, there was more competition last year, unfortunately. Um, uh, you know, some of the Mexican skiers aren't coming this year, which is okay. a bit of a shame, but there's still uh, Charlie Ross, he's, yep. he's coming out. So, you know, it should be me and him. I think it'll be a tight battle. Yep, yeah, for slalom. And then you've been tricking like eight, Nine thousand points by yeah. the, by the looks of it on the score sheet. So, are you gonna are you gonna be chasing overall? Like yeah, looking for an overall potentially. Score? Yeah, like if we have you know three great rounds. Yep. That's yeah, definitely um, a potential podium finish. Yeah, nice. Yep. Nice. Well, we're looking forward to seeing Lucas and the bright yellow hair. That's <laughs> kind of brownie now, but. Get some toner into it for, for Moomba and he'll be yep. looking tip top shape out on the Yarra. So stay tuned, um, watch this space, and um, we're gonna go out, have some sets. We'll catch you guys next time. Eww.